All right, now we're going to head um, uh, to the markets. Uh, we've seen uh, some top headlines in the markets at this point. We see the likes of FTX um, repay uh, the, the repayment plan. We know the exchange, that massive exchange, FTX had issues in the past, and they're having to pay uh, some of those uh, customers that have funds on the exchange. But let's look at the market quickly now. We see it's, uh, there's some green on the screen at this point, predominantly green. There's some little pockets of um, red at this time, but we're still seeing... Uh, some struggle there when it comes to uh, Bitcoin and most of the altcoins. You know, once uh, Bitcoin sneezes this market, um, the altcoins catch a big, big cold um, at this time. But let's bring in Rume Dominic, the founder of Vorum and uh, deputy managing director at uh, Aviat Industries, joining me right here in the studio. Uh, it's been a while. Great to have you, nice Rume. To you. Thank you very much, Ladi, for having Fantastic. me. Fantastic. I'm sure you've seen this market, a lot of volatility at this point, some say it's the miners that are selling uh, from all the profits that they've made, you know, mining Bitcoin. They've also seen governments actually selling too, like the German government are floating about 900 Bitcoins at this time. How are you seeing all of this? Yeah, like the, the events that have happened in the last 20 hours in the cryptocurrency space, where we saw governments selling off over 900 Bitcoins, we, of which we still had to do an on-chain analysis check on that wallet where we still have over 46,000 Bitcoins still left in that wallet, right? It's a true reflection of the impact of government and their participation in this cryptocurrency space. It causes a lot of sentiment and price fluctuation. How do I mean? Like when people and investors see that government just sold off 900 Bitcoins, the investor sentiment starts coming in. That what's happening in the market? Why is the government selling off so much? Is there something coming that will crash Bitcoin, that will make Bitcoin go to zero? Maybe some kind of yeah, like zero black the next swan time. Yes. yeah. So that sentiment would make a lot of investors to sell off, and that would see that the price would definitely plummet, just as you have seen it plummet in the last few days. Right, and when we see price corrections and you know drawbacks. Everyone comes up with this, um, is it time to bite the dip? Or you don't want to catch a falling knife, maybe you just wait, maybe it's going to fall even more. What are you seeing? Is this a bite the dip moment or, or not? You can't really give a forecast of where the market is going, especially with cryptocurrencies. Like I always say, men lie, women lie, but the charts do not lie. At the moment, we're experiencing a bit of um, fear, uncertainty, and doubt in the news that Empty Gox is going to introduce about $9 billion worth of Bitcoin into the market. This is because of the event that happened in 2014 when that particular exchange got hacked. And now they've been able to have a bit of legal um, res resolution to see that all of those Bitcoins is being paid back to their um, investors. So that news alone might quickly see that some some of the investors, some people that are participating in the cryptocurrency market will be scared. However, I don't think it is going to give us a very bad blood, blood and red day in the market. We'll continue to see these greens in the market because it is the bull run season. It's still the bull run regardless, yes, Without, regardless of the big drops <laughs> <laughs> we're seeing at this hour. Let's talk about regulation now. We've seen the uh, Securities and Exchange Commission in Nigeria, but they've released a virtual asset provider framework, you know, at this point. How's the, how's the Nigerian crypto industry looking at uh, this framework? Well, in 2022, that is in May 2022, the Security Exchange Commission actually took a step forward in this particular direction. And it is a good one for a lot of cryptocurrency investors and the Nigerian government to see that the Security Exchange Commission, they've been able to provide a framework that we can operate in this particular cryptocurrency ecospace, which means that the users will have much more confidence going into the market and they will be sure that their funds is extremely protected. For me, I see it as a step in the right direction because it would ensure that there is innovation without fear. Because when there's clear path, when there is enough regulation like what we have seen now with this ARI program, the accelerated incubation program for the 
um, virtual asset providers, then you will see that people will be able to innovate without the fear that they will get shut down or they will have something like a Binance situation that has happened in the country. And that is a very good win-win situation for both the virtual asset providers and the retail consumers in the cryptocurrency market. Right. Regulation, regulation, regu everyone <laughs> needs protection at this point in yes. most of these markets. Thank you so much. Always great to have you, roommate Dominic, uh, Deputy Managing Director, Aviate Industries and Founder at Vorum. Thank you Thank so you much. Thank you for having me. Yes. All right.